We are off of 64, Interstate 64. We're in Nelson County, and we are at a scenic overlook here. And if you look up in the other direction, that is Interstate 64. See that white van up there? That's a scenic, that is a scenic pull off. So what are we doing here? Well, what we're doing is we're testing our GoPro's battery ability. I'm down to about 50%. I got plans tonight, man. I'm going to an LU basketball game. Out of it. Oh, 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 and I want to get this video done and tell you all about Amherst County. Amherst County, the town of Amherst. We can start right away in the comments and tell me if I'm pronouncing it correctly or not. Amherst, 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 Amherst. That's a beautiful view, isn't it? And there's beautiful views in Amherst, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a ride through Amherst. I wanna show you how far it is from Lynchburg City. I'm gonna show you some houses that are out there that have just sold, some that are for sale. And yes, I am a realtor. I've had people call me from YouTube, and maybe I don't mention it enough, but I'm technically, officially a realtor here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. There's my number, there is my email. Text me, call me, send me an email. Anytime you would like, I would love to connect with you. If you're thinking about moving to in or around Lynchburg, I do work with that international real estate company called EXP Realty. And why is Amherst a possibility for you? Well, let's take a look at this. We're gonna zip through with some time lapse and just kind of drive you over into Amherst County through Madison Heights and hit the town of Amherst on some hyperlapse video. And I don't know if that makes you sick or not. It only takes a few seconds, it'll be gone. We're also gonna talk about or show you on the map exactly where the town of Amherst is. I and mean, you can see how quickly this time lapse is going and on the map itself, you're right across the James River. So you're close to downtown Lynchburg, you're close to restaurants, you're close to the universities, colleges, going to shows, athletic events, those kinds of things but you're a little bit removed if you want to be. And there is a myriad of options you have as far as prices and sizes and things like that. We'll show you that too. Here on the map, you can see where Amherst, the town of Amherst is, and you can see at some point on this map, you're gonna see Woodruff's Pie Shop, Woodruff's, man, that is a must go. You might want to call them and order something if you want something specifically because they sell out. And then you can see where Amherst, the town of Amherst is located as far as Charlottesville, as far as Richmond. You're looking at about an hour from Charlottesville, about two hours from Richmond City. So what kind of amenities do we have in Amherst? Well, there are a nice little six county, not six county, there's a nice little, uh, I think five or six park system in the Parks and Recreation Department. I'm gonna show you one driving in here. This is Coolwell. This is where they have some uh, basketball courts. Uh, I have to look at the video. I don't remember if there's tennis courts there. They have a children's playground. They have a remote control car racetrack of some sort. So it does look really nice as I came here to just drive in and drive out. Uh, they were getting some activity going as far as basketball. That's one of the parks and they have fishing and things like that available at other parks. I'm gonna show you this other park too. While we're talking about it, let's go to this other park where I almost drove into the lake. Make a right Maybe it's turn. a shortcut, Dwight. It said go to the right. It can't mean that. There's Walk a lake right there. I think it knows where it is going. This is the, the lake. machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me. No, it's not yelling. Yeah. There's no road here. All right, that's not true. I didn't drive into the lake. Come on, I'm better than that. The machine, the machine. Okay. But look at that, that's a beautiful, beautiful park. 190 acres, they say on the website, I think, it's a 190 acre watershed, one of the most beautiful scenic places as far as parks in Amherst County. Really nice, uh, the kids playground there, there were some families out enjoying that. So that's available to you right there in Amherst. And Amherst, again, town and county, let's talk about those two things before we start hitting some houses. 
How big are these places? Well, the town of Amherst is about five square miles, and we're talking about a population of somewhere over or around 2,100 people. The reason I say that is I couldn't find information on the U.S. Census website because they only hit towns with a population above 5,000. So the town of Bedford is 6,000 some people. We have that information. But because the town of Amherst is under 5,000, not available, specific numbers, uh, it's smaller. And the county of Amherst is about 473 square miles. I'm gonna give you these about numbers. We'll throw up some actual numbers on the screen. But the county of Amherst is about 473 square miles. Now you compare that to the town, or the, sorry, the county of Amherst. The county of Amherst is 473 square miles. Compare that to Appomattox County, which is about 333 square miles and Lynchburg City, which is about 50 square miles. Amherst County is about 32,000 people. Appomattox County is about 16,000 people. And Lynchburg City is about 79,000 people. Now, as far as actual, get my hat up there a little bit. As far as actual housing units, Lynchburg City, I think the number's around 28, 29,000. Again, the US Census did me wrong here. They gave me a big fat X and said that we can't tell you. The uh, county of Amherst is a little over 14,000 housing units. The county of Appomattox, a little over, over 7,000 housing units. And then we're going to talk about the household median income. In Lynchburg City, it's about 54,000. In Appomattox County, it's about 55,000. In the county of Amherst, it's about 60,000 as far as the household income median amount. So those are some numbers about the town itself. Um, just some things that are like maybe intangibles. In the county of Amherst, you have a Walmart, you have a Lowe's, you have uh, a nice tidal wave car wash. These car washes were these like high tech car washes where you're, you know, driving in, driving out, they're doing all this stuff. They're like popping up everywhere. We have one in Lynchburg, used to be Lightning McLean. Now it's changed to Zips. And I do have at least one monthly membership there. I do like to take the car and I know there's some like old school people who only like to wash their cars by hand. I get it. I have a good friend like that. But for time and convenience, I like to buzz in and out sometimes. Now, hey, speaking of what you like or don't like, now's a perfect time to ask you. If you would not mind doing me a great big favor and giving me a thumbs up on the video, I would love it. If you're so inclined to subscribe, you could do that as well. I love doing these videos and this, I mean, come on, who can complain about this? This, I mean, it's a beautiful, day. I'd complain if I roll down the hill, but we're going to try not to do that. So back to Amherst, what were we talking about? Oh, also, have I given you my number yet? I can't remember, but there's, let's, throw, let's just throw that up again uh, for fun. There's my number. There's my email. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email if you want to connect. Doesn't matter if it's a month, six months, a year. We can connect now, and if you come to town to visit, we can grab some coffee. And if you wanna talk about investment properties and short-term rentals, we can do all of that, okay? Now, back to Amherst. We talked about Lowe's, Walmart. They have all your fast food uh, chains of, of choice. I do believe they have all the big ones. Sheets. Now, in the town of Amherst, <gasps> which is important to a lot of people, they have a really cool looking. I've never been there. I don't know. I don't have pets right now that I would take anywhere, but they have a vet that's been there for 30 plus years. So here's a look at some of their services, things they offer, all the major stuff it looks like. And here are the people that also are the people that are providing those services. So that's right in the town, that's cool. They have a state police station there. Uh, they're home to hickeys, electric, plumbing. What else is there, HVAC. I have had a client do a really big electrical job with hickeys and they were pretty satisfied. So um, I think all good, not just barely satisfied. Speaking of satisfied. I am in a hate, hate relationship right now with AT&T. That's a tangent though. Comment on that. Who's your cell phone provider? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Or are you ambivalent? Man, my wife has been killing it with AT&T lately and they are, they are rough. It's been going rough. We're gonna see if we get it fixed up here. But let's take a look at some houses now. I think it's about time for some houses. As always, I wanna drive you by some places if I can. If not, we're gonna scroll through on the screen and show you some pictures of the houses. I was trying to drive by, obviously, and grab some video for you. Um, 
some of the sun was killing my shots, so we'll talk about it as much as we can. Look at this one here, 213 Briarhurst Drive. This is pending right now. And you're looking at a $389,000 list price. It's four bed, five bath, 2,800 square feet, sits on 1.6 acre. Now, we don't know what it sold for until it actually sells. And I do have a couple more that actually did sell so we can look at those numbers. And the second one we're gonna look at is 318 Union Hill Road. That sold for $244,000. That is three bed, two bath, 1,800 square feet. That is a real good kind of sweet spot to think about when you're looking, no matter where you're looking at. Bedford County, Campbell County, Lynchburg City. Of course, location, location, location. If you're next to, I don't know, a uh, marijuana dispensary or a hospital or um, an ABC store, which is our liquor store or a railroad track, or a university or an open field depending on what you like and don't like by the way have i mentioned i would love it it would be a great big favor to me if you like this video depending on what you like or don't like that has a big effect on how much a property is worth to any particular buyer but a three bed two bath 1800 square feet that's a really good sweet spot to kind of gauge other things off of so this house in amherst you're getting that for two hundred and forty four thousand at this uh finish level on 0.49 acres that's really good and again looking at the neighborhood here here's one at 260 main street this is on main street but it's not right up against the street as you can see it's kind of knocked back off main street a little bit this one is a three bed four bath 3,100 square feet and it's on one acre and it sold for 460. It was listed at 449.9, but it sold for 460. So those are very recent sales. We can use those numbers if you're looking and say, is this reasonable? What am I looking at? Um, this is my budget. This is my approval. Is it reasonable for me to consider that? Yeah, those are really recent sales in Amherst. And let's look at a few that are on the market active. So we got one here on, on Hanger Road. Look at this bad boy. I wrote down my notes, and as I'm looking at you right now, sorry, getting a call. Let me hit call you later. As I'm looking at my notes, I think I wrote this one down wrong because it's two bed, one bath. I wrote down 1,400 square feet. I don't think that's right. And it's for sale at 129. So you have that. We're going to take a look at that. Let's scroll through these pictures here, unbeknownst to me. See if I'm right or not. I'll throw it up on the screen if I had that square footage right. Then we have another, another one that's offered for sale in the town of Amherst. People beeping at me. Woo! Popular, baby. Um, 324.9. This is listed at 324.9. It's on Ridge Drive. It's a 3-3, three, three, three bed, three bath, 2,000 square feet, and it's on 3.3 acres. Hey, that's a lot, of, a lot of nice acreage for you there. And then, here's the one if you're a high roller. If you're a high roller with some horsies, we have one at Sunset Drive, on Sunset Drive. Stand by. Sorry, can't answer. Can I call you later? We have one on Sunset Drive. Four bed, four bath, 5,900 square feet. Whoa, 34 acres, whoa. And a, uh, not high speed, a, what's the word I'm looking for? State of the art, state of the art equestrian center, 1.49 million. So if you're a high roller and want a horse farm, 1.49 million, we can do it. Give me a call. Let's get after it. Let's get that horse farm for you. Somewhere around here when I was taking video, I drove by this roundabout. Here's a little interesting side note for you. What I learned on the internet, it might have been Wikipedia, so I don't know if we can trust it. Wikipedia is the best thing ever. Anyone in the world can write anything they want about any subject. So you know you are getting the best possible information. What I learned on the internet is that this roundabout in Amherst is the oldest roundabout in the VDOT system. That's pretty cool. Here's another opportunity for you to comment and tell me what you like or don't like. I love roundabouts. I think they're brilliant. 
keep things moving. I love, love, love them. So that is right there in Amherst. And um, let me give you a rundown of the school very briefly. It's not really a complete rundown, it's just information. Of course, we have Sweetbriar College. Now, here's some video of me driving through Sweetbriar College. Why did I do that? Number one, I wanted to give you a little look at Sweetbriar. I know I've done this previously on another video, but since I was there, I was like, let's go, let's go ride through there. Well, what I forgot, because I'm, I'm pretty sure this happened to me last time, is my Google Maps lied to me, and I got to the check-in point. So they check you in, they do take your license plate down, they ask for your name, they didn't ask for my ID, but they asked for my name, made sure it was spelled right. I think they asked me if I had COVID, I don't remember. And um, they, you know, safety, whatever, they check you in. I drove around campus here, as you can see beautiful beautiful campus but I thought I could get out the back side and I couldn't so I had to turn around and come right back through here so Sweetbriar College is there uh, as far as the uh, school system you can do that thing we talked about previously if you watch any of these videos go to niche.com n-i-c-h-e.com you can talk uh, punch in your school you can compare it to other schools so um, I did that and I think if I'm correct I'll pump up the numbers here again pump up the volume pump up the volume I will pop up the numbers and show you that Amherst County High School looks to be about 1100 students and I think it's an 18 to 1 teacher to student ratio I think they got a pretty good score the high school got around a B or a B plus so you can do that on your own. You know, if you have kiddos who are students, you're gonna wanna dig into that stuff um, it, more in depth than I can. Uh, but when you think about places to live and, and being close to things, you know, again, an hour from Charlottesville, two hours from Richmond, just across the river, like depending on where you are in Amherst, you're talking about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes to downtown Lynchburg. Um, you know, close to the universities over there, University of Lynchburg, LU, Randolph, Virginia University of Lynchburg, it's close to all those. It could be a great, great option for you. Now, why am I sitting here again? It's just so funny, like I rolled in, I really don't care. I don't wanna waste time, but I love working with really good people and I have really good clients. I'll drive like an hour for anyone and I'll drive an hour and a half if I like you. Well, I drove an hour and a half today to this house and I pulled in before my clients. When I got there, I pulled in and I was like, holy cow, they're not gonna like this house. Shh. Driveway like that. And they got there and we walked around and they didn't really like it because of the driveway. So those are some of the intangibles. Listen, if you're thinking about moving to in or around Lynchburg, man, it could be an hour away shoot me a call we'll see if we can uh, work together and i can even grab some videos of these places i was in the area of this house the other day but it was pending and then it went back on the market but if you are thinking about moving to in or around lynchburg by all means feel free to shoot me a text give me a call that's a record that's like the third one while i'm talking um and i'll be happy to get out to the house maybe and I hope it's not an emergency. I'll be happy to get out there, take some video. Maybe I can send you a video of the steep driveway and you can say, yeah, that's not the one. So Amherst has some beautiful parks, beautiful scenery. Oh, I didn't even, I gotta show you this picture before I leave. There's a picture I took uh, when I was driving around and had a very nice gentleman pull off the side of the road because I was kind of cattywampus on the side there, put my four ways on and take this picture. And he checked on me and said, hey, you okay? Yep, I'm okay. Do people stop where you're at and check on you? very nice people in Amherst County and the town of Amherst you got um, places Briar Patch great restaurant to eat at so if you are thinking about moving to in or around the Lynchburg Virginia area give me a shout I would love to connect with you and until next time stay safe and keep smiling we will see you